Neural networks have activation functions. These activation functions are required for more complex learning tasks and to use backpropagation. But why? And why do these activation functions need to be nonlinear? Say we take a data plot that looks something like this, where our x and y values are some attribute of some data point. This data can be separated by a straight line. That task can be done by a neural network which takes in two inputs and outputs a value. If that value is above zero, then it's red. Otherwise, if it's below zero, it's blue. But suppose uh, we can have data that looks like this. This data cannot be separated by a straight line. It's much better suited for a curved line. But we're only adjusting the gradient and the y-intercept uh, with our neural network. This keeps our decision boundary straight. If we add another layer to our neural network or extra nodes in our hidden layer, it won't add the curve that we need. We can write the output of each node as such. And if we substitute our middle layer into our output equation and expand our brackets, we can collect our coefficients of x0 and x1, which are our inputs, and group together the constants. We can generalize our equation to that of a linear relation between inputs. The effect of adjusting weights and biases just changes the gradient of the input and the y-intercept. Therefore, adding a hidden layer won't introduce the curve required to correctly classify this data. But if we take an activation function, which is not linear, for example, the sigmoid, our parameters have an effect on the degree of the curviness of the line, and therefore our weights and biases can change the shape of our decision boundary much more than if we don't use an activation function. This ability to form more complex decision boundaries is the reason why we need to use them. Just to end off, you can also use the ReLU and exponential function because what matters isn't curviness, but it's the nonlinearity which we can find weights and biases for to segment data.